Hey everyone, it's Tim once again from the Word of Life Church. I uh, wanted to get online and do a little bit of a, a news update on the certain issues going around. I'm sure probably have watched the news. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I don't use the main news that everyone watches like CNN, Fox News, uh, stuff like that because they're, they are pretty much uh, under the government's hand and they're only allowed to release certain information uh, to guide and direct the way that the the world masters <laughs> as they call themselves and believe that, that they are uh, guide and direct things such as uh, the situation but anyway online to talk about was the situation with uh, Russia and Turkey uh, and that's you know uh, it's a big deal because uh, you know you never know all it, it takes just one push of a button and that's kind of an, an awesome horrible fact you can push a button and after that a few seconds later a few minutes later there could be thousands or millions dead but uh, as I talked about before I uh, wanted to come online and do some uh, news articles like this to bring it to your, bring it to your attention and uh, the main reason would be to a uh, call to prayer that uh, situations like that and things that's going on we avoided the Lord will uh, move in and uh, we know that he is in control uh, of everything so you know he uh, everything is on his schedule his prophetic prophetic timetable uh, and as I said these world masters and there again everyone's going to say oh he's he's doing that conspiracy stuff again <laughs> once you look at it and research it you know don't sit there and just spout that out get in and research it for yourself there's plenty of credible researchers people that's in the know people I've talked to that's in the know uh, about stuff uh, you know the the world masters uh, the Illuminati whatever you want to call them are very real um, and as I said they are guiding and directing the things that are going on in the world now as I said we know God is in fully control of every situation and things will happen according to his perfect will uh, but you know that doesn't take away the fact that you know here us here in the US you know if all that's going on over there as I said uh, thinking uh, video last night or the night before last um, you know how long before something of that nature ends up happening here you know may possibly as I said you know the, the borders are wide open and they're already catching people but they were only released like I said certain news things you have to get into the secondary news sources that are not on the government payroll to get the actual news about what's going on because if they put a news article up here you don't have to don't pay attention to this right here this one pay attention to what's going on all around it what's that is a false flag to cover other things that are going on and that's exactly what they do and I know that road's going to rip people off really wrong some people are diehard Democrats and Republicans you know one side hey I'm, I'm, I'm with CNN I, you know they tell the truth Fox News tells the truth all these news no they're on the government payroll I don't know how much planner you can you know say that like as I said if you do the research and realize that um, I'm not fussing anybody I just want everybody to to join me in this prayer now I'm not going to do it online you can do it whenever you want to but the, the prayer that these things can be avoided because as I said you know how long before we're seeing this holiday they've they've already given uh, a red alert basically uh, uh, you know a high level uh, security threat and know that uh, if these uh, uh, jihadist have bombs you know strap on uh, bombs on their bodies or even uh, even a suitcase nuke as they're called uh, even down to something such as a uh, bio bio warfare uh, type weapon maybe some kind of you know some kind of viral some, you know pandemic or something like that they're unleashing that the elite of course how about that's doing all this behind the scenes as I said as last night or I, I'm kind of repeating myself kind of funny how that went together today but uh, that's just you know hey God want me to bring come on he put it on my heart to come on to talk uh, but anyway 
saying this is what they could do. There's several different things they can do. Go in, the guns blazing, you know, bombs, the uh, suitcase nukes, you know, some type of biological weapon. Uh, and the Lord has kept us safe up to this point. Let's say this. We are still uh, a blessed nation, uh, but we are turning from God. We're not fully there yet. There's still a remnant left. I want to stand and be with that remnant. I hope you will stand and be with that remnant as well. Stand up and be counted as a Christian and be Christ-like. And so we can all join hands be one like, like the Lord warned us to be a body and pray against the enemy we have work to do people we ain't got any time to sit and just do nothing now, I know people's got things people stuff life happens sickness happens but I'll say this and I just, this is coming to my heart really strong if you're saved, walking in God's will, you're sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, you don't fear. Perfect love casts out fear. We're made perfect through that. Perfect in the spirit, not of the flesh. But while we're still in this flesh and all this stuff is going on around us, then we need to stand, and as I said, be counted as Christian and, and pull as many back out of the fire that we can that's heading that direction well brother how do you do that pray prayer is your weapon I'm talking about getting into the spiritual warfare aspect of things prayer is your weapon the Lord said whatever you ask in his name he would do that for you he would give that to you but seek his kingdom first and all that you can seek him with your whole heart and all these other things we talk about will be added unto you. Talking about prayer, talking about, you know, not talking about stuff about the world and everything like that. I'm talking about the blessings of God. I count the blessings of God, not monetarily, although we can't, He can, His will be done. But I'm talking about the spiritual blessings, the ability to do this. People, when you see this stuff going on, if you get into it, please, in a bed, and you do your own research. You know, don't take my word for it. But I, all I can say is, is I just know what I know, okay? Uh, so be in much prayer. Don't just gloss over it. Nah, we're say, you know, we're here in this, and and we're we're just gonna be we're just gonna be snatched out of here before anything bad happens. You have no guarantee of that. Talking about biblically, it's kind of we have, we're going to go through some tribulation. And as I said last night, I believe there is uh, a little bit of a misunderstanding between people when they say uh, we're not called to wrath, we're not called to God's you know wrath. Exactly, but you've got to determine what what point is the wrath of God being poured out as opposed to the wrath of the devil incarnate the antichrist and all the stuff that he's going to do to the church so people are getting those confused that's where all that comes in we believe here in America there again the American Christians we just believe once we start stubbing our toes and start having a little bit of trouble that we're just going to be snatched out of here or well, we do what we did on September 11, 2001 when we were attacked, uh, and that, of course, was an orchestrated deal. Uh, a lot of good videos out there explaining exactly what happened and how that happened, and that's one thing I'm talking about. Uh, uh, it wasn't just those. It wasn't just those jets that brought down those buildings. That was a concerted effort, and our government was involved in it. And this video is going to be watched and filtered, and I'm sure. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> it would be censored and, and my account uh, suspended, deactivated, because that's happened. Because people are actually they're tired of seeing all the evil that's going on, and I'm tired of seeing it. And I want to stand up and be heard. And I want you to stand with me and be heard as well, and say we are saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost. We are ready for war. 
I'm not talking about war with carnal weapons. That's a, that's not our war. That is spiritual warfare. When we get down, we and pray. That can be the mightiest weapon to have because you have got the greatest power in all creation inside of you if you are saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost. That power is yours. He gave it to you. Greater things you will do because I'm going back to the Father. I'm going to send you the back the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. And he's going to teach you all things. And when you open your mouth, he's going to fill it. Amen. Hallelujah. Does that sound keyed up today? I am. Just, it, you know, God's will be done. When you see stuff going on, you see prophecy being played out and everything like that. Uh, then it gets you excited because you can see the signs. Now, I know we don't seek out signs and everything, but you can, as I said, if you do your own research and, and look at different things and compare different things, you'll see what I'm talking about. And I wish I could go into more detail a lot of it, but we still might because uh, the spiritual warfare is, is what we're involved in. As I said, we don't fight with carnal weapons. Even though part of the news is saying that, uh, uh, you know, us, uh, you know, American gun owners uh, were more of a threat than ISIS, uh, what was one news article to talk about. <laughs> we'll on to them that call good evil and evil good. Do you believe that? That we're, that we're considered a threat more than this terrorist group that is beheading people and killing people worldwide and blowing themselves up because they think they're going to get 70 virgins when they go to their version of heaven. That's not the heaven I'm going to where Jehovah God dwells, the, the true creator God. And listen, I'm speaking to you Muslims out there too. All all is not a true God. He is a demonic entity, a fallen angel, whatever you want to call him, a being, some kind of a being. And I believe he was this, what we talk about in the Bible back in the Old Testament, the Prince of Persia, because that was at the time when Daniel's prayer was hindered by the Prince of Persia. I still believe that's, in my opinion, what we're looking at right now as well. Because your God is calling for bloodshed. Not even going to call him a God. Just call him a demonic entity. One of the evil ones. One of the fallen ones. And he's wanting sacrifice. Blood sacrifice. Wanting to behead everyone else. Except, you know, the people. Even some people within your religion. You're, you're at war. And then I'm going to shift back from that. And come back and talk about the churches of the living God. What I've been talking about in many videos, and just stop with the difference, uh, having all the differences of opinion, stop it all, come together, one mind, one accord, and walk in his will and do what he would have us to do. People, this stuff is real. Get your head out of the sand. And, and I'm, as I said, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not mad at anyone. I'm not, I'm not fussing at anyone. I just want everybody to become aware of what's going on around you. Say, brother, you worrying me. You're making me feel like I've got eyes on the back of me and paranoid. I'm not saying being paranoid. I'm just saying you study God's word and see what's going on and relate to what's going on and be able to process that information. That way there won't be any fear. You'll be on your guard. Same type of deal. The Lord wakes you up three or four o'clock in the morning, and, and there's a written. He says you need to pray about this thing. There's a need right there, and you obey Him. It's obedience to His His will is what we're looking for, what we want, because through Him, as I said, we have the victory. We have the power to do all this stuff. Is evil stuff still going to continue? Yes, it will until it's taken out. Right now, the restrainer is still in place, but don't you feel it slowly pulling back? People, I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm going to end this video. I just want to do a short 
like I said, video, a news update, or something like that. And once again, please understand my fuss and anybody. I love everyone out there. I even love all the other people from other religions. I want them to come to the knowledge of the truth, and some of them are. Some of them, hey, there's some Muslims and other and other, other religions that said that the Lord Jesus come to them in a dream, and that's that's how they discovered the truth and got saved. Now I know there's going to be some diehard ones out there that, that, that don't care, you know, and they're still going to uh, do blood sacrifices. That's what it boils down to to their uh, demonic god, lower G god, which are no gods at all, what the Bible said. But being much prayer, uh, as I said, these all these other things going on, if I see anything really that needs to be brought up uh, in prayer, um, then, you know, just people view this you know, uh, a week from now or two weeks from now or something like that. Uh, something may change, but everything is heading right toward a certain direction, a a, uh, a point, something, you know, something big, something that's going to change. It's going to be a, a game changer, something that's going to change the course of history. So, well, you're making that sound all just, you know, um, man, well, hey, open God's Word and read it. Yes, we've got victory at the very end if, if you stay in God's will. And, and there you hear it. And the said, the spirit that's inside of us that saved us is perfect. This flesh is not perfect, but we don't serve sin anymore. We abhor all the other things of evil. Do people slip? Absolutely, because you are still in this flesh. But we have forgiveness because we have an advocate with the Father, the Lord Jesus. He said if we sin, you know, he would he would he would be our advocate and said, Lord, that's one of mine. He's asking for forgiveness, asking for repentance. Not repentance because I got caught. Repentance that you realize that you've sinned against the Lord and it brings you to tears and you need to ask for forgiveness and move you up or where or sideways whatever where the Lord wants you to be because he's got to work for all of us what I'm doing right now is just a small part of the work that I'm supposed to do but at any rate as I said I love everyone out there Not, I'm mad at the evil and the sin that men do man it, it's these false religions that are going around and killing people yet us Christians are a threat higher on on the threat level than all these other ones church the, these people behind everything that's directing their and their their master Satan trying his best trying his best to get to the point where he can kill as many of God's people that he can and bring Israel to an end because he realizes that's God's chosen people. And he will come to an end. Yes, he will. And all the evil that he's in, all his 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 army of darkness, as we'll call it, and I'm not trying to be dramatic, but that's the truth. He does have an army as well. And I'm talking spiritually and in the flesh as well and some other things that's so wild I won't even get into right now for one thing people are not ready and probably would not believe some of that stuff that I would talk about anyway so now is not the right time be in much prayer I'm going to go ahead and end this video I didn't mean to go this long but God's will be done and that's what I want be on the watch okay be a watchman on the wall you see the enemy coming jump in there Pray, announce it, let it be known. That way we can all stand together against the enemy. Instead of just one person going down and leaving everyone else back to fight the giant. Let's all go down and surprise the enemy. <laughs> There's one standing there challenging saying, 
who are these people? You know, oh, you are just dogs or something like that. We can we can take you. Let's be Elijah against the prophets prophets of Baal. One man did that because he walked with God. How about you right now? And I ask that question: Are you walking with God right this very minute? The Lord calls on you to do something, pray, or whatever the case may be, to help someone, his, whatever his will is. Are you where God wants you to be at this point? Ask yourself that. If not, get there. Get there soon. God bless each and every one of you out there. I speak blessings in Christ for on you all and pray for you all. You do the same for me. I pray for our church. Uh, pray for all the other churches and all the other brothers and sisters in Christ here and definitely abroad uh, all the missionaries that are going to these countries where missionaries are being killed uh, that astounds me that the, the, that and we need to be exactly like this if we love our life then we're gonna we're gonna lose eternity we hate this life and people if you understand what I'm saying we hate this life uh, of just of accumulation of money and wealth and everything else and and not doing God's will amen anyway that's what God wants me to say and that's what I wanted to say because I want to be in his will I'm saying, telling you be of the same mind all of us, all of us be in one mind one accord and get rid of differences anyway I'm, t I'm, I'm sorry I'm droning on but you know I just, God's will is good and I just want to you know share all that with you uh, if, as I said if I see anything else come across uh, the board uh, definitely bring bring it up and uh, do another uh, video because you know uh, I think that's what I was talking about uh, studying God's word and seeing everything going around uh, I believe in being informed and not as I said sticking your head in the sand or you know hiding in the four walls of the church building and not doing anything and seeing anything on the outside because stuff's going on people we have to stand together we have to walk in the spirit and take care of these things as, as I said in I'm Dr. Alone God bless you take care and we'll see you in the next video be in much prayer for everything that I mentioned that's going on in the world because uh, prayer does change things amen talk to you soon